Is this true? Do you think that there are Freemasons operating inside the clergy and even inside the episcopate? We can assume this. Mm -hmm. uh, we have not proofs because, you know, the, the Freemasonry is so organized mm -hmm. that you cannot have a juridical proof. Right. It's they a secret so, society. They are so clever mm -hmm. and so, um, in some way, crafty, even, that you can never have right. a demonstration. But uh, there are bishops and cardinals and priests when they open their mouth, they are speaking like a Freemason, with all the, even with some jargon of a Freemason, mm -hmm. with uh, defending the, the typical principles of Freemasonry. If he is Freemason or not Freemason, but he, he is doing and implementing the principles of Freemasons. And now recently, uh, they came out of a priest, a mons Monsignor, uh, who is a member of a Vatican dicastery, publicly mm -hmm. uh, advocating uh, and praising the Freemasonry. Yeah. And so it is to me uh, already quite uh, outing himself. And there were, is an article who, in the Correspondenza Romana, uh, there was an article recently which demonstrated that this priest is a member of a Freemasonic lodge. Yeah. And now they want to have this last uh, bastion to be raised. They achieved already the recognition that all religions are equal through the Abu Dhabi declaration and will by God and through the praxis. Then the Pachamama cult, which was obviously idolatrous. And then they have the uh, ambition, the Freemasons, that the Vatican in some way should recognize them. This is their last ambition. ambition. And so for me, this outing of this Vatican Monsignore is a step yes. in this direction. And in some way, it is um, a kind of blackmailing the Vatican to do this in some way, at least in an um, indirect way. And so we can assume that there are a lot of forces inside the Vatican who are very friendly to Freemasonry and who are doing exactly and implementing all the principles of Freemasonry, one world government, one world religion in some way, one world education, one world ideology. So we have this already. And to, to, um, to support and uh, the, the agenda of materialism, of naturalism, which we, are, we have in the, eco in the ecologism, and the climate change religion, and the Amazona, uh, new the Amazona religion of nature, and it simply uh, uh, reinterpreting the entire gospel in the terms of naturalism, materialism. So to say that in some way Christ died for nature, for the river, and for the Amazonas, not for and not for the immortal souls. They are perverting the gospel, saying Christ's wounds we see in the, in the disasters of the ecology. This is a perversion of the entire gospel. Christ is not, became not uh, incarnated man uh, and uh, died on the cross and shed his blood uh, to, uh, to give a better ecology that the Amazon River would be better and, and cleaner. Yeah. But to save human souls, and, and only through human souls saved, the ecology will be better, not, not, not in the other way. The more people are 
not possessing the, the, the life of the grace, of the sanctifying grace and the filiation of God, and the more people are not doing the will of God, the more ecology will become worse, the environment, and will suffer because of Christ is not reigning in the hearts of the people. And when man will be saved through him, the nature and the ecology will be also saved.